flat truckers, flat truckers. I hate to report the tragic news, but as of now, there are reports coming out that the Francis Scott Key Bridge has collapsed. Um, I want to say thank you for all of the people who called me, woke me up, that were concerned about me, and knew that I would be in the area. Um, thank you guys so much for just checking on me and making sure that I was okay. And um, my condolences to the families if any lives were lost. They're saying that people are in the river. Um, this happened around 1.30, 1 1.40 a.m. Um, uh, this morning, um, a container ship struck one of the beams or collided with one of the beam, one of the beams that uh, holds the bridge up and the bridge has now collapsed or they're saying some sections of the bridge has collapsed um, they have dive teams out um, in search for uh, any lives that may still be they're saying one of the uh, vehicles may be a tractor trailer um, very tragic, very, very, very tragic. Major bridge collapsed overnight. It happened after a cargo ship rammed into a support beam of the bridge. Rescue crews working around the clock this morning looking for any survivors. Yeah, here's what we know so far. A cargo ship knocked into the Francis Scott Key Bridge at around 1.30 this morning. You can see the impact of that crash on your screen right now and just section by section of that bridge falling into the water. Now the ship caught fire after it hit the bridge. Also want to note here, it's not clear what led up to the ship crashing is it is still very early into the investigation. Yeah, so rescue crews are continuing to work around the clock right now. They're looking for the survivors. Baltimore fire officials say two people were pulled from the water one in serious condition. The second one, we're told, walked away and refused treatment. Authorities are saying that they are trying to rescue anywhere from seven to 20 people. Here's what the mayor of Baltimore had to say about the crash just a little while ago. Well, this is a, a tragedy that you can never imagine, right? And uh, I was awake when Chief Wallace called me, but never would you think that you would see physically see the key bridge tumble down like that. It looked like something out of an action movie. And you just think about, most importantly, which is what we all should be thinking about right now, nothing but those families and people that are impacted and those people who are risking their lives right now from not just Baltimore City and Baltimore County, but all over this state to try to save lives. That should be our focus, the preservation of life, because no one wants to see that happen, let alone someone in their family or someone that they know uh, uh, be injured in an incident like this. Um, if you may be traveling in the area or if you know someone who may be traveling in the area or may have been traveling in the area, please reach out, check on them, make sure that everything is okay with them. My name is Chief James Wallace. I'm the Chief of the Baltimore City Fire Department. I'm joined this morning by our Mayor Brandon Scott, Council President Mosby, Councilwoman Porter, County Executive Johnny Oshevsky and Baltimore County Fire Chief Joanne Run. Um, our brief this morning will be an update on the search and rescue operation that's ongoing at this point. So at approximately 0140 hours this morning, our 911 center dispatched a call to the Baltimore City Fire Department for a report of a water rescue um, in the Patapsco River in the area of the Key Bridge. As units were responding, they began to receive numerous calls indicating multiple people in the water. At some point during that, that chain of events of calls, uh, we began to receive indications that a, uh, a ship may have struck the key bridge. We got further information through multiple calls that the key bridge, um, portions of the key bridge had actually collapsed. At about 0150 hours, our first unit arrived on scene and reported um, a complete collapse of the key bridge. Um, we were also given information at that time that there were likely multiple people on the bridge at the time of the collapse and that as a result multiple people were in the water. We were able to remove uh, two people from the water. One individual refused service and refused transport. Essentially that person was not injured. However, there was another individual that's been transported to a local trauma center that is in very serious condition. At this time, 
We have multiple air assets from the Maryland State Police, as well as the Baltimore Police Department, as well as multiple marine assets from around the region, including Baltimore City, Anne Arundel County, Baltimore County, as well as multiple local and state police uh, agencies, uh, National Resources Police, um, BPD Special Ops Unit is in here, Maryland State Police is here. We have multiple resources. We are still very much in an active search and rescue posture at this point, and we will continue to be for some time. Very tragic. Um, I don't, I'm, lo I'm at a loss of words right now. I know I normally, you know, try to enlighten you guys on things like this when I'm doing my reactions. We try to joke around and play around, but I try to, you know, forewarn you guys of, of or should I say educate? I try to educate you guys on uh, the tragedies that could possibly happen out here when traveling these highways and byways so um, that you guys can be aware of the things that go on. And, you know, if you have someone who drives for a living or if you have someone not just only in an in a 18 wheeler, but people who just drive for a living, period, Uber, um, DoorDash, um, Lyft, um, pizza delivery. You know things of that nature you know it don't always have to be trucking so you know there are a lot of people that is in the transportation and logistics business so just make sure you check on your people from time to time um as i stated the francis scott key bridge most people call it the key bridge but the francis scott key bridge has collapsed it is in the river portions sections of it but this is tragic, very tragic. A container ship uh, collided with one of the beams at about 1.30, 1.40 a.m. this morning. My condolences if any lives were lost. But you guys stay tuned. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the share button. Make sure you send this out to some people who may have been traveling in these areas. Or make sure you send this out to some people who may are going to be traveling in these areas. Um, this is going to affect our entire supply chain um, over the coming weeks. Um, there were numerous, and when I say numerous, I mean numerous amount of containers on this ship. I don't know whether they were going out to another port to be distributed around the United States or if those containers were headed to a different country. I'm not sure. I will update you guys as I get that information, but... As of now, I know that in some way, shape, form, or fashion, our supply chain will be affected. So you guys may want to uh, prepare. So until next time, Runaway Child, and we are out. But never would you think that you would see physically see the key bridge tumble down like that. It looked like something out of an action movie. And just think about, most importantly, which is what we all should be thinking about right now, nothing but those families and people that are impacted and those people who are risking their lives right now from not just Baltimore City and Baltimore County, but all over the state to try to save lives. That should be our focus, the preservation of life, because no one wants to see that happen.